welcome. So today we'll be discussing how to model the molecules in the software so called Spartan. So today I'll demonstrate some molecule and I'll in this software so called Spartan Genoid. So when you are going to open this Spartan window you'll see this kind of window. After that you have to click on this file menu. Okay, then new. This is for your new platform where you are going to make some molecules and blah blah blah. And in the up toolbar, you can see this file menu, edit menu, and all those things as there. And again, these are the shortcuts for uh, these menus. You can uh, use it directly. And these are the framework you have to take. This is organic, inorganic, peptide, whatever. Whatever you need is there available. If it is not there, you have to make it out. Okay. Suppose you wanted to make some molecule uh, like uh, ethane, you wanted to make. So, how you will make ethane? First, what we will do, we will take one methane molecule, this one, sp3 hybridized carbon tetrahedral, and just click it here, single click. Okay. So, you will see this kind of thing. So, this yellow is default, hydrogen is there attached. Okay, so when you want to put again one more CS3 group, just click on any fragment you want to take and just at the corner or at the end of this yellow. So now these two atoms are two molecules, two atoms are attached to make a molecule, ethane molecule, right? Suppose you wanted to make this single bond as double bond, what you, are, you have to do? Just go to inorganic section. You see here this double bond, triple bond, tetral bond, whatever. Everything is here. You just select whatever you want. Double bond. Just double click. See now this is double bond. Okay. So then you have to delete some atoms. Whatever. So now what you have to do. This is the way you can make molecules. Okay. See these are the menu. I will tell one by one. This is the V view menu. Suppose you want to see this molecule, view this molecule, you have to just click it here. See, now this molecule you can view in this view menu. And this plus sign is for add the fragments. Suppose you want to add some fragments like fluorine. So first you have to click on this plus sign. Then only you have to click on the substituent that you are going to add. And just add it wherever you want to add. Simple. Okay, so this is for that one. Again this red one is to delete object. Okay. Suppose you want to delete that fluorine, just click it first here, then click here, delete it, okay? And next, this dumbbell is used to make the bond. Suppose you want to make some bond, so what you have to do, you know how to make a bond. It is the connection between two atoms. So you have to select this or this, and you see double bond is here, okay? And this is to break the bond. Suppose you want to break this bond, this bond, whatever bond you want to break, just first click this, select this one. Then which bond you want to break, just click it there. Okay, that bond, that bond is going to be broken. Okay, so uh, this is the this menu. Now I'll delete this molecule. Okay, yeah. So now suppose I am going to take some uh, this molecule. This was fine group attached to methane, right? So this E, this E is used to minimize. This is known as minimizer, or this minimize the energy of this system. Okay, what it will do, suppose uh, this molecule has CS symmetry, if after minimization it is going to be better symmetry, then it will go, else it will be here only, okay. So this is, this E is used to minimize the energy. So after making the molecule, you just press on this E, that will minimize the energy and you will, it will give you the best symmetry, whatever it can give you, using molecular mechanics, okay. So this next, next is this one. This is used to measure the distance. Suppose you want to measure the bond distance between this and this atom, this and this carbon. First select this one and then go there and here. Then right side, down corner, you can see this bond length is given 1.531. Suppose you want to change this bond length, you can change it here itself. Okay. Suppose I wanted to make it 1.7. Just press it enter. Press enter. So this bond is length is now 1.7. Suppose you want to make it like 1.9 press enter now this bond length is 1.9 so next is bond angle 
suppose you want to change the bound angle so uh, suppose you want which bound angle you want to change anyone just select suppose i have selected this bound angle okay this edge c edge bound angle is 109.47 degree so i just wanted to make it to 120 just press 120 and then enter see now this angle is 120 like this you can change the dihedral so this is the dihedral angle and here the dihedral is how much 180 you know okay so it is 180 and you wanted to make it zero see now this is in eclipse form see here the symmetry you can see at the corner this molecular symmetry will be shown here okay whenever you are not getting the proper symmetry what i told you just press on e okay so this is the staggered form d33 and this is used to change the dihedral angle then what we will get we will put it zero here press enter now this is in staggered form so what symmetry we should get this is d3h okay so now it is perfect and this is used to freeze the center suppose sometime what happens in you are making some molecules and you want to freeze some uh, atoms coordinate some atom just use this and just freeze it out so now the coordinate for this carbon is fixed okay until you are not going to put it again like this now it is removed okay so this is used to set the torsion angle here you can set the torsion angle by default whatever it is set the torsion angle torsion is what you know the angle between two planes the torsion this is you know the repulsion angles and blah 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 and this is used to set the similarity center suppose here i am going to set this uh, this both carbons are similar so this i will press it here and press it here that's it there is no that much significance of this similarity center the, now this constraint distance is suppose sometimes what happens you want to fix the bond distance so you have to use this constraint just select two atom to select that bond and you will see one open lock here at the lower corner and just close it just by clicking here it will close so it will give you some data if you want to fix in that same bond length or you want to increase by some value suppose i am going to increase by 1.59 1.9 plus enter now this bond is fixed 1.9 angstrom until i am not going to remove this i am to not going to open this lock okay suppose i press e now this bond length is increased until i am not going to again removing this constraint just open this lock okay now this constraint is removed similarly we can fix this bond length bond angle dihedral angle everything we can fix it out like this only okay now uh, there is one menu so called the define the point uh, this point define is used when suppose you having a suppose i'm going to make one four member ring this will connect it here by clicking here and here okay so we have a four member ring and this is d2d -D butterfly like structure right so I, i'll make it out at a cyclobutadiene first okay that will be better so we can see that symmetry so this is showing d4h you know it is not d4h exactly because there is some distortion called jahan jahan till distortion this molecule and because of that only we'll be getting a rectangular species here okay so that's that's power thing so we'll see here uh, yeah so is defined point suppose you want to put some dummy point at the center of this ring so what you have to do just select two points this and this and just click it uh, on this atom or there somewhere else. just click it here so you will see one dummy point over here now suppose you want to insert any atom at the dummy point just select that atom fragments and just click on that okay now you can see that atom is there at the center uh, you, this is pre-default hydrogen I told you now so you have to remove it if you don't want that okay so like this you can make it okay and uh, suppose this is some molecule uh, whatever i'll first delete this hello yeah yeah so next is c plane this plane what is the function of this plane suppose you want to fix some plane and you want to some see the some plane you can see it here so what you have to do you have to select three points suppose i wanted to fix this plane like this three so like this you can select the planes 
okay uh, this will make you your picture better good right like this you can select the planes okay Like this, you can select the planes. Okay, so these are the menus you have to use in uh, to build some molecule. Okay, uh, I'll try to make some molecule like some good molecule with less point group, and then we will optimize it to get to better point group. So, suppose you wanted to make cyclo tetraoctane, uh, cyclo tetraene. Miss, we will make this molecule. So just select this fragments. We, suppose I wanted to make the cyclo tetra octane. In that case, what we have to do? We need eight carbon atoms. So how many? This is seven, eight, and we have to join it together, and then press on E. So we'll get this D2 configuration. Okay. And now we have to put double bond, alternate double bond. So we'll just click on this item to make double bonds alternate. Okay. There is no double bond here, but here is double bond. So I'll click it here. Here. We have double bond here. And at this point. So we'll select it here. Okay. After that, we'll press on E. So we got which one? We got D2. D2 symmetry we got, but. Uh, actual symmetry of this is what D to D. So first we need to just change this dihedral, this to make so I'm going to make it zero. Press enter and press on E. Again we are getting this. So that is not going to help us. So in that case, what we'll do? So this is the you know the, you can see this is twist board kind of thing, but the actual is board with D2D symmetry, right? So we need to change some dihedral at particular point. So what we will do? We'll change the dihedral from here here. Here by 60, and here also we'll make some dihedral change. Both sides we have to make it out. So, again, it will go to D2 only. So, in those cases, just you have to change the dihedral angle so that you'll get the proper symmetry. Sometimes what happens now this software is not that much stabilized in the sense Say this is 180 now we need to make it uh, how much are we going to take it We can take it to 60 something now We'll make it 0 Press enter Same thing we will do it here also Both sides we have to maintain this dihedral Okay, after that, just press on E. We got S4. But S4 is also not the symmetry of this molecule. Okay, in that case, what we have to do is just see at the down, you can see this this arrow with cyclooctatetrine. Okay, so what you have to do is just click it here and just select some good basis set level here. Suppose I am going to select here MP2, just click on MP2 and will replace everything with that one. In that case, we will get D2 T symmetry. Okay, see this right side down corner. This is D2 D. So, like this, we can make some molecules with different symmetry. Okay, whatever you want to make, you can design it here. If you have any doubt, please put in comment box or you can send an email also. Thank you. Have a nice day.